hello guys welcome to river south youtube channel in today's video we are going to be building this shoe store so we are going to have an intro page which is where you click on shop now then we have our shoes then the drawer then our cart then we are going to also be adding items to our cart so once you click on it once you click on the plus icon you see the message the alert dialog message successfully added check your content so we do that again successfully add a check your content then we move on to the cart and we can also remove items from our cart so the id we are going to be using for this tutorial is visual studio code right now i'm going to create a new flutter project so you just click on ctrl shift p on your visual studio code new projects then application select where you want to collect the folder so i'm using tutorial so the name of my flutter application so i'll call it shoe store So I wait while Flutter creates that for me. Right now, what I've just basically done, I've just created a new Flutter project. So let me also add the folders which we are going to be using in this tutorial. We are going to be creating an asset folder. So click here, then create folder. Call it assets. So this is where we'll be storing our images. Right now, I've created I have my folder called images. So I'm going to just going to import this. So I've downloaded some images from the internet. So I'll drag this into my assets. So I've added my images. So these are the images we are going to be using. So I'm going back again to my pop spec. So right now, I would like to add the dependencies which we are going to be using for this tutorial also. So right now we are going to be using provider. This will be, this will be managing our this will be managing states. This will be for state management. So click on installing. Then copy this provider. Go back to our Visual Studio Code. So I'm done it. Our container icon. You paste this. So what this basically does, it picks the most recent. Then right now, also I'm going to be needing Google Navbar. So right now, just click, go back to installing. Then select Google Navbar. So going back to my main dot that. So I always like to start from scratch. So I'm going to clear all this here, which we have. Clear all this. So let me also run the. Let me run my simulator. So the box should check mode. So let's set this to first. Then our home. Our home be our intro page. Where we see that shop now. So call that intro page. So right now it's showing an error because we haven't created that. So let's create a new folder inside our lib folder that's on pages. This is where we're starting our pages. So inside our pages, I'm creating a new file called the intro. Intro page, not that. So let me go back to my main dot that and import. Uh, intro page so import so okay still showing this close the so inside my intro page right now okay right now let me check my simulator so it's just showing a blank screen blank scaffold so let's look at the design what we are going to be doing in our own page We are going to be having our image then since the moment then the text and this button okay so let's proceed so we are going to be returning the color we are going to give it a body it's our body column okay so let's say size box 
this Lewis on space and an image dot assets okay so right now this is our shoe store so let's you right click then click on copy relative parts then we paste that but let's refresh our application what we are going to have done before now is I'm going to have gone to our pop spec .cmn and add come here to our assets and you have to specify so I'm going to remove this so assets slash images slash so what this basically does it goes into our assets folder then our images so you always you have to include this in your pop spec .cmn so going back again to our intro page so float up pop gets so we have to wait for this to load so let's refresh so right now you can see the shoe I see how it's up here so let's give it some padding I don't like the way it is mm. wrap with padding so let's say 25 so right now you can see this okay let's even give it a background color let's give our scarf for the background color so right now you can see the background so you can see how big these are our images so now let's <laughs> let's reduce the size so inside our image we want to reduce the size so inside here give it a height of 240 uh -huh. right now it's much more smaller so this is our logo so our column let's let's make this center wrap it center still some spacing so let's make it let's wrap our column let's give our column some padding Let's see most legit sets not symmetric what this basically does give it spacing on the both sides so let's see horizontal 25.0 so our column and as this as alignment dot center I want to center this so right now it's looking nice okay so the next thing we need to do is after our images so let's look at that's our design okay we need this since the moment okay a text then another text then it's it okay so what we are going to do now I want to add the text so let's give it a space into another size box let me just copy this in order to remove this you can use const so use const to improve performance so I just use const cost means constants not changing at all so const text this is our text so we have six different moments we are going to be giving it some styling too. Oh, small letter. See, constant system went to okay. So the next thing, give it a style. Text style. It will give it a font size 20. 1 to it. Let's say bold. Let's look at our screen. Okay, so this is the moment. This is looking nice already. So the next thing we need to do is then add another size box. So what I'm just going to do is that I'm just going to copy. Just copy this. Then paste. So I'll just change the content there. 
so the next content here was okay buy shoes buy shoes and customize it so this you can also give it any text but for the purpose of this so i say buy shoes okay so it's not let's remove the font width dot both it's not both let's also reduce the font size to 16 then the color let's give it a color of gray colors dot gray so the next thing okay test align let's align that text This is looking nice okay the next thing we need again let's give it another size box so we can add our button so let's say 48 so uh, for our button let's give it a let's say container let's have a container remember all these are still inside our column so container then inside our container what do we want to have there we want to have okay the correction let's do it box decoration then let's give it just just give it color first of all colors dots gray let's say 700 then let's okay Inside our container, so okay. Let's give it a inside our container. I want to have a we have a child class, so let's say child of text shop now. So uh, yeah, you can see, you can see the text here now. So let's just give this our text some styling. So text um, that style. Next time, then give it color. So let's say color colors dot white inside. Apart from color, let's give it points with. Once we dot both, then font size sixteen. Okay, so I think this looks nice. Mm, okay, text I so right now this shop now doesn't look too nice like that. So let's just give it some padding. So our text wrap it inside padding so let's say 25 okay let's wrap this our text inside the center widget as your center so right now you can see this so don't like this color let's change Colors dot gray. Mm, let's see, nine hundred. Okay, it's looking nicer. So the next thing we need to do, okay. So let's give it border radius. Mm, dot circular. this is looking nice now so right now we want that if we click on this shop now it should redirect us to home page so what i'll just do on this container now i'll wrap this our container with another widget we are going to be using gesture detector so this is text once we tap 
So inside our gesture detector, once we tap, I want to on tap. So it's going to be taking the fun the function called on tap. Once you type on tap, this you can see we have different functions there. So we are using on tap. So once we tap it, we want to push. Okay, remove this now. So I'm going to be using navigation navigator. push we are going to be using push so that it will push contest it's taking a contest okay the contest then matera page route and it takes in a builder which also is takes in the contest so let me just take it to the next line so you can see the code contest It directs us to the home page. So right now we haven't even created the home page, so that's why we are also getting this error. That's why the home page is showing us that error there. So right now what we are going to do is come back here again to our pages. So our pages create a new by called home page. page dot that hello guys we have come to the end of part one of this video please find the link to part two in the description box below thank you for watching and we hope to see you in the next segment